Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about one of the popular package known as Flutter credit card. So this package allows us to help build this kind of card layouts in the UI screens. Along with that it also determines the type of the card based upon the card number what we provide. Say for example for the given card number what you see here, it has intelligently determined that it is going to be a visa card. Likewise you can also determine whether it is going to be a rupee or mastercard based upon the number what we enter over here. Alright. And along the side it also comes with few animations like the flip animations as you can see here as I just tap over the card it just flips back the card see the back side of the card using the flip animation which comes by default in say the package itself alright so this package is, will be very much helpful if you are going to deal with kind of apps which is going to require a wallet or a payment kind of processing thing then this package comes in handy with the animations as well as this beautiful UIs okay hope you got a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in this video with this idea and without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this package in our flutter apps which we have been discussing right now which is flutter credit card and always check for the latest version as for the video recording date this is the latest version and it is null safe it also provides support for almost every platform that we have in flutter Say for example, it is, is supposed Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Web as well as Windows. And if you scroll down, you can see here they have provided us the documentations for implementing this package in our Flutter app. We need to add the dependency in a perspec and after which we need to import that in the Dart file. And here we have a basic code snippet to implement this package for the given um, kind of parameters like the card number, expiry date, holder's name and CVV etc. So these are going to be kind of a required parameters which the credit card widget holds and this credit card widget is nothing but the widget which we get as a result of the package installation. And if you scroll down you can see here along with that required parameters there are many other optional parameters you can play around with like the width, style, color and so on and so forth. So you can just toggle between the values to get the desired kind of style for your card based upon the use case of your app. And for the glass morphism UI, you can make use of the default config or else if you want to have your own style, then you can just provide the values for blur X and blur Y and also provide the gradient colors and uh, also make your card look more attractive. So that's all about this Flutter credit card, what we have in the pub data. Now let's head back to the VS code and start with the implementation part. First, we need to add the package, which is Flutter credit card in your perspective and always check for the latest version. After adding this package, let's move on to the main.dat file. Here in the main.dat file, we have made use of the generated routes where the initial route points to my home page. As you can see here, this is going to be the initial route where the initial route points to the my home page. And the my home page is nothing but a stateful widget class that will make use of the slider panel just to make the app more interactive and the credit card widget is going to be written down inside this first view widget and this first view is going to be a stateless widget class where we have a basic set of UIs as you can see here this is the UI what we get over here which is self explanatory and as you go all the way down and here is where we need to write down the code for rendering the card the UI screens okay so let's start developing that here First we need to make use of the widget which is credit card widget and as said earlier it is going to be the widget which we get directly as a result of the package and if you hover over that widget you can see here these are kind of required parameters which you need to give by default and there are also certain optional parameters you can see here this bank name height with textile are going to be the optional parameters you can either give the value or you can leave it empty and there are a list of parameters you can play around with just for the animation styles extra just to make the more simple i will just give provide values for these required parameters alone okay and this would be the glass morphism style which is going to take the default config itself and uh, next would be the card number and before that i would like to take your attention to this model which we have created which is the credit card model and here is where we have just defined the hard coded values for the card holder name the card number cvv expiry date and etc so we have just provided a model for that and this is and this list data is what we will be using in say this uh, credit card widget okay so back to the first page view 
and likewise the expiry date is something which we get by from the model and same similar to the card holder name cvv and uh, the so back view so it is going to accept a boolean variable um either true or false okay and finally we have the method which is credit card change widget which is going to be triggered upon the state change okay so these are some required parameters which you need to give to get this credit card widget being rendered in the ui okay now let me restart the app and you can see here this credit card widget has built up a credit card based upon the values what we have provided over there in the models and for the given card number it determines that it is going to be a visa card okay so you don't need to create the ui for the card yourself the package does the hard work for you and if you say for example if i just want to change this card number you can see here if i change the card number from four to five and do a hard restart now you will be able to notice that instead of the visa logo which appeared earlier is now converted into the mastercard so for this given card number the card issuer or the logo of the card is going to be the mastercard okay so that's how the package intelligently maps the card number and provides the card logo over here so you don't need to worry about that the package does that for you and so there are plenty of other parameters which you can configure uh, on your own style so just for this tutorial purpose and to keep it simple i have made use of these kinds of required parameters okay so this is all about how you can implement the credit card widget in your flutter app with the help of the flutter credit card package hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye